Now, yeah. the next nutrient I'd like to talk to you about, which allegedly is missing on a carnivore diet. We've never had a case of scurvy, except James Blunt, supposedly, but uh, I mm. get the feeling he was a bit uh, off the ball there. Yeah. How Do we get enough fiber on a carnivore diet? I'm sorry, do we get enough vitamin C on a carnivore diet? Well, the answer is yes. Yes, we do. Uh, why do I say that? Well, because there actually are no established or bona fide cases of scurvy that have ever been reported. An anecdotal story from James Blunt, who's a great singer, but not actually remotely qualified to speak about health, um, doesn't cut it. It also turns out that apparently during the period of time that James Blunt was talking about, for some reason, his diet consisted entirely of chicken and mayonnaise. <laughs> well, there's no surprise he had problems in terms of what it was was gum hell, actually. It wasn't scurvy. He had gingivitis. Um, anyway, um, that's that's the one story that we've all heard about. You know, oh, it's scurvy on a... No, we don't get scurvy. Look, I've been on a carnivore diet, or mostly carnivore diet, for the best part of 10 years now. And scurvy takes six to eight weeks to develop. So I should be dead if scurvy was a problem for carnivores, and I'm not. There go. Either I'm Superman and so is everybody else on the carnivore diet because there's not one single case reported or they're wrong. Maybe it's that. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, th there, there are many uh, accounts of sailors who used to get scurvy. What yeah. do you think the reason that they got this was? Very simple, straightforward. The diet of sailors, the working men on sailing ships, consisted entirely of ship's biscuits dried, cakey, almost impossible to chew up, horrific grain-based nonsense, which contained absolutely no vitamin C whatsoever, none. And of course, ergo, six to eight weeks out to sea, scurvy. The officers, the gentlemen, didn't get scurvy. Why not? Well, because their diet consisted of dried meat. Meat contains vitamin C in a very small amount, yes. An amount so small that on the labels, it'll say zero grams, meaning less than one per hundred, but not actually meaning zero. There is some vitamin C in meat, even dried meat, even cooked meat, enough to prevent scurvy. In a carnivore, the amount of, scur uh, amount of scurvy, the amount of vitamin C that you need to consume is vastly less than you would need to consume were you eating carbohydrates. Why is that? Well, because one of the main transporters of vitamin C from the blood into the intracellular space is a transporter called GLUT4. You've probably heard of that one. Its main job is to move sugar. Well, we think of it as, as its main job is to move sugar, and we call it GLUT4 for that reason. But actually, it has several roles, and one of them is vitamin C. Now, if you've got a bunch of carbohydrates trying to get into cells, in your blood, that's going to outcompete the vitamin C, which is at a much lower concentration. Ergo, you need more vitamin C to remain healthy. Prevent that blockade by not pouring carbohydrates down your stupid neck every day of your life, unnecessary indi uh, contraindicated carbohydrates, then your GLUT4 is free to move as much uh, vitamin C as it wants, pretty much. And it does. So you actually need nanograms per deciliter of blood as a carnivore not milligrams per deciliter of blood, which you will need if you eat a standard diet. So there it is, vitamin C, put to bed.